and this could, this could divide the room, potentially. <laughs> it can sometimes seem, ladies, and this might just be from my perspective, I apologize. It can sometimes seem like, in that initial phase when you're first trying to meet someone, it can sometimes seem like it's the fella who's doing quite a lot of the work. Ooh. <laughs> Careful, Steve, sounds a bit sexist. <laughs> Calm down, sweetheart, let me explain. <laughs> it can just sometimes seem, in those early days, like it's the fellow who's got to approach the lady, hello, can I buy you a drink? Pay for that. And that's fine, that's fine, we're happy to do it. No, we're happy to do it, we're happy to do it, not a problem. Not a problem, happy to do it. Maybe you don't always order a cocktail, but aside from that, it's fine. Happy to do it, no, happy to do it. We ask for the phone number, give you a call, you know, get together, maybe go out for a meal, pay for that. Um, no, and I know you're saying to me, no, Steve, that's not true, we're always happy to pay. You are always happy to pay, ladies, but in that early stage, when you're first assessing, I sometimes feel like you're judging us, maybe if we're not offering to pay. Like, here's an example, I was on a date with a girl, and the bill came, and she went, 50-50? And I went, no, don't be silly. You had a lot more to eat than me. It's more like 70, 30. <laughs> and she paid up, but I felt her judging me. That was the sense. That was the sense I got. That was the sense I got. And eventually, if we're very lucky, we get to go back to your place uh, in a cab. Pay for that. That's fine. That's fine. No. <laughs> the night bus is not considered romantic, apparently. Uh, we might get mugged, Steve. Not a problem for me, I haven't got any money, spend it all on you. But anyway, that's, no, that's... <laughs> here and there, it's here and there. So we get back to yours, and um, if we're very, very lucky, we get to, uh, we get to move into the, uh, into the boudoir, you know. <laughs> I'm miming for you now, if you can... And it seems sometimes there, ladies, if I'm honest, and it could just be my perspective, it seems like maybe we're doing quite a lot of the work there as well, if I'm honest. <laughs> just to analyse it, I mean, I know you're doing some of the work, I know you are, because you've told me you are, and I believe you. Um, <laughs> but I can't figure out what part of this is work for you, because the gentleman seems to literally be putting his back into it. <laughs> Whereas the ladies, she's down there, isn't she, in the, what's commonly known as the sleeping position. <laughs> Sometimes you are asleep, good luck to you, but it's just, it's... <laughs> doesn't seem like work. And what about when we're up on top, Steve? It's not work up there, is it, ladies? That for you, it's, that's more like you're riding a magic pony somewhere. You're just bobbing around, just checking out things, you know. Keep going, ba ba da 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 <laughs> But I'll tell you why you, this is why the bloke starts to think like this. Because you're raised from a young age to, to be the guy expecting to do all the work. Because biology class is always from the male perspective, isn't it? It's always the penis that's inserted into the vagina, isn't it? Never the other way around. You never hear that, do you, in biology class? The vagina sheathes the penis, never heard it. <laughs> never heard that. The sperm fertilizes the egg. The egg's doing nothing. <laughs> uh, just sat there like that. Just flipping through heat. Oh, uh, the sperm's having a nightmare. The sperm's got to travel miles, the equivalent of miles for the sperm. It's like he's doing the Great North Run. Millions of other sperm, a lot of them in fancy dress, not taking it seriously. Out the way! <laughs> and he gets there, boom, the fellow's doing the work there. There's a condom, obviously. What giant wall of latex? He's been all that. What the hell's this? Peering in, can just make out the egg on the other side, taunting. <laughs> and you've got the audacity, ladies, to say, you know he just rolled over and went to sleep. Of course we did, we're knackered! <laughs> At a biological level. If you're gonna complain, ladies, get involved. <laughs> oh, Steve, take me to heaven and back. I'll just tell you to Nando's, let's see your money. 